Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and many of you have been asking me lately if Apple cases are worth it and how they hold up, whether you should get a silicone Apple case or a leather Apple case, since I generally cover every single time they come out with new colors. So I wanted to make a video going back over seven years worth of cases and show you exactly how they hold up from the time I used to use a case full time to now where I don't use a case full time, I still have family members that use them full time and durability test them for me. So I wanted to show you how they hold up and there's very different results depending on who's using them. Now, the first thing is my first official Apple case goes back to the iPod or the regular iPod or iPod classic, as you'd call it. Now, this is my fourth generation iPod. It has some scratches on it and you can see that it has been heavily used. It's a 40 gigabyte iPod and it still works. Although the battery is dead, it does still work and still has songs on it from many years ago. They offered an official case at that time that looks like this. It's sort of a nylon material has elastic on the sides. You can see it's, this is actually glue. It's not anything I got on here. This is glue that's come unstuck and it still works to this day. You'll see it's Apple and it says assembled in China. And so it's got a clip on the back. It's held up actually pretty well, given its age, it's mostly in storage now, but I keep my iPod in it to keep it safe and it's held up fairly well. So this is my oldest and first personal Apple device. I did have a 933 iBook before this, that was my wife's, but I wanted to show you what I used. Now I have an iPhone five here and back when the iPhone five and five S were out, these were some of the first Apple cases. This is a leather Apple case. It was in blue and you can see it's an official one here. If you can get close enough here, you'll see it says designed by Apple in California. And this one has meant to been, or was meant to be patinaed like this after use. This is one I used for quite some time and it wears like this on purpose. So it gets a patina on it, whether you like it or not is another question. This may or may not be to your taste. So this is my oldest Apple case that's worn out like this as is this red one as well. So you can see these side by side. Now I do have one that I didn't use specifically that was eventually handed down to one of my kids and they even put a sticker on the back. And so if I peel this sticker back a little bit, you can see that there's the Apple logo and it's really worn in. This was put in jeans pockets. It wore quite a bit around the outside edge. However, it held up well. It didn't break or anything. Although it's a little bit weak around the headphone jack, it's held up well. One case that did not hold up so well around the same era was the iPhone 5C case. Now, after I used this full time, my daughter did, and you can see the case on the bottom. It's cracked on the bottom. The port where the lightning connector is, part of it is missing, it's cracked, and it's just from regular everyday use. So this was from normal everyday use. This was an official Apple case that had a microfiber lining, and it's kind of just old and broken at this point, but it did work. So it's okay. It still has this grippy feel to it. Now, when we move on to cases a little bit later that go with the iPhone eight or the seven era, this is where they started to be less durable, at least maybe by the design. As you can see on the bottom, they're worn out completely. This looks like a dog chewed it, but we don't have animals. And as you can see here, it's just from being put in and out of a jeans pocket regularly. Again, this is one my daughter used for some reason. She's quite hard on these silicone cases. So you can see it even cracked at some point. So depending on the one, they just broke apart. Even the silent switch, these are a pretty rough example, but I wanted to share them with you to show you what it was like. And here's the iPhone eight in the last case that was used with it. You can see it has a screen protector on the phone, but here is the case and they always seem to break down here. My wife, who is especially careful with her phone had the same experience. So if I set these aside, the iPhone eight style cases, we'll set those aside and bring in the iPhone 10 style cases. As you can see, these are in much better shape and these are ones my wife used down at the bottom. They still seem to rip over time. Now I've had mild success bringing these to Apple and having them replace them under warranty. Sometimes they'll replace them. Sometimes they won't. And it just depends who you get, but sometimes they'll say, yep, that's under warranty. If your phone has Apple care, we'll replace that for you with the same one. And sometimes they do that more recently. It seems like they do that less and less, but you can see here's another yellow one. It has wear down at the bottom. She's not particularly hard on these cases, but they do seem to have this issue. And that moves over to the leather version of the same case. You'll see it has a nice patina on it. You may or may not like this. 
The buttons have held up well for the iPhone 10. This is one I used for quite some time as well, and then was handed off to my daughter. And again, the bottom seems to have held up much better than the silicone cases over time. The buttons still work. They're metal buttons. They function properly, but it has a nice patina on it. And you may or may not like this, but it reminds me of maybe a leather baseball glove, for example. So it has that sort of wear on it that a lot of people like, and sort of like this look overall. And so those are the iPhone 10 cases. Now, when we get to the iPhone 10 R, we had a clear case available. I have reviews about this. And the only complaint I have about this is if you take it on and off a lot, you get some cracks down at the bottom. This seems to be very common on these cases. So if you try to remove it, for example, this is the official clear Apple case you'll see that it has some cracks down at the bottom and there's some scuffs and cracks around along the side. It's held up. Okay. And I'm the only one that's used this and put this on and off. And this has barely been used. This is maybe used for a total of a month or two at a time. And the case just from taking it on and off seemed to have cracked. So you can see this here. It didn't yellow, which is nice being that it's years old, but it did crack. So down here at the bottom, which seems to be the problematic area for most people. So I wanted to share all of those cases and then move on to the most recent of the iPhone 12 style cases. And I have all of them here, some used more than others. So the clear case hasn't yellowed still, although it's a few months old, I don't expect that. And even being open at the bottom hasn't cracked so far, putting them on and off. So that's a good thing with these cases. So we'll just put that here for now. And then here are ones that were used not by me, but by my family. And so my wife uses the silicone cases. She does not like the leather cases. And one thing she noticed right away is that the bottom holds up much better. There's less wear on them. They don't show any sort of marks and they seem to hold up really well. And I know a lot of you have questions about MagSafe as well. So I'll talk about that in a moment, a moment with these cases, they're MagSafe cases, and they don't seem to leave marks on the silicone cases so much that you you just can't wipe off, but they do leave marks on the leather cases. So let me show you that. Now the leather case here, this again was my daughter's. This is put in and out of jeans pockets and you'll see that it's got sort of wear already on it. I'm not sure how she's so hard on it, whether she dropped it, but she sort of durability tests these cases for me. As you can see the wear all around it, she's fairly careful with her phone, even though it doesn't look like it. This is mostly from being in a jeans pocket and then occasionally brushing against different surfaces. So she keeps it in her back pocket and the buttons you can see have held up well. However, I'm not sure you can see this, but at this angle, there's a ring from MagSafe. She regularly uses it and it will leave an indentation in the leather. So if that's a problem for you, you don't want to use one of the MagSafe connectors because it will leave that indentation in the leather permanently. So it's just sort of the pliability or the way it squishes down that leaves that ring. It's not a problem for me since it's centered around the Apple logo, but for some people it may bother you. And if it does, of course, you want to skip this case. So these seem to hold up really well, even in the harshest conditions where I showed you some of these silicone ones before, and they're doing Okay. This one is mine where it's put in a bag and you'll see it has press marks from the bag itself. It will sort of patina just like all of the older ones. However, the iPhone 12 series, seeing that they have plastic around the outside ring of the cameras, they seem to hold up really well. So it's holding up well with no issues whatsoever for me. Now, one honorable mention I wanted to mention since I've had this phone for a long time and it's held up really well, this is actually a D brand skin from years ago. This is my iPhone six plus and not six S plus six plus. And this was a D brand skin they offered years ago and they're not a sponsor of this channel, but you'll see it wore down here, just like the phone would if you set it down. But to be fair, it's actually stuck on here quite well. It's worn away here a little bit, but given the age of the phone and this was regular regularly used at the time by me used every day with the skin on the entire year that I used it for the most part, other than in a few videos where I removed it and put one back on. This is held up really, really well, no complaints with the skin. So if you like skins and you're not too worried about the, the cases themselves, this might be a way for you to go, but I just thought I'd mention that since I did enjoy using that at the time, but now I really like the leather and silicone cases. Now, my main complaint with the silicone cases is how well they stick or how well they grip. This is a problem only if you wear jeans that are tight or you have 
pockets that are very tight. The problem is, is they stick too well and you, they sort of pick up some lint, not as bad as some other cases, but they do pick up some lint. They're fairly grippy and they're hard to take out of your pocket sometimes. However, if you just throw this into maybe a purse or maybe you have a backpack, these will be fine. But I recommend the leather cases generally for the little extra money, since they do have metal buttons all the way around and they just feel nicer overall. However, if you don't like leather and you don't want to use them, the silicone cases work fine and the newer ones definitely hold up better than the old ones did. The leather cases in the past, I would highly recommend as compared to silicone, for example, such as this one that's seven plus years old or so, and it's held up just fine. So overall, I recommend either the clear case or the leather case over time, but let me know which one you would pick in the comments below. And hopefully this gives you an idea of their durability over time. If there's anything else you want to know about these specifically, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on the wallpaper, that's on my iPhone 12 pro max, of course, I'll link that in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.